to get back to you? No. You know what I did? The f Do you feel like losing your cool in certain situations? Or like if you're jealous or disappointed? Do you tend to lose your self-control? Then losing self-control can have significant consequences on their personal and professional lives. Whether it is through an impulsive decision, an outburst of anger, or a lack of discipline, losing self-control can lead to negative outcomes that can impact the individual as well as those around him. And so, every man should master self-control techniques to avoid these negative outcomes. Let's not prolong the agony of waiting and let's get started. Number 1. Set Goals When it comes to mastering self-control, setting goals can be a game changer. I know it sounds cliche, but hear me out. By setting specific and measurable goals for yourself, you're giving yourself a roadmap to success. You are creating a plan and a purpose for your actions, which can help you keep on track and motivated. So let's say you want to improve your physical fitness, instead of just saying, I want to get in shape. Set a specific goal such as, I want to run a 5k in under 30 minutes. This gives you something to work towards and measure your progress against. It also helps to break down that goal into smaller achievable steps such as running a certain distance or time each day. When you have a goal in mind, it can be easier to exercise self-control. For example, when faced with the temptation to skip a workout or indulge in unhealthy food, you can remind yourself or your goal of how important it is to you. This can help you stay focused and motivated even when faced with challenges or setbacks. Number 2. Identify Triggers Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you just couldn't control your impulses or emotions? Maybe you snapped at a co-worker or ate an entire pint of ice cream in one sitting, even though you knew you shouldn't. It happens to the best of us, but what if I told you that there is a way to minimize those moments and exercise more self-control? One effective strategy is to identify your triggers. These are the situations where things that tend to set off your impulses or negative emotions. By recognizing your triggers, you can create a plan to avoid or cope with them, which can help you exercise self-control. For example, let's say you tend to get angry and lash out when someone go near at your girlfriend. In this case, other man approaching your girlfriend is a trigger for you. To avoid this trigger, you might want to ask your girlfriend first about what's going on before lashing out to the other guy. Or you might want to take a deep breath and count to 10 before talking, giving yourself time to process your emotions before reacting. Number 3. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness is the practice of being aware of your thoughts and emotions in the present moment. It's about tuning in to your senses, noticing your surroundings, and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. When you practice mindfulness, you give yourself the space to pause and reflect, which can help you exercise more self-control. So, how does mindfulness help with self-control? Well, when you're mindful, you are more attuned to your thoughts and emotions. You are able to identify when you're starting to feel overwhelmed or about to lose control. This gives you the opportunity to pause and choose a different course of action, rather than reacting impulsively. For example, Let's say you're in a meeting and someone makes a comment that you disagree with. Without mindfulness, you might immediately react with anger or defensiveness, which could escalate the situation. But if you're practicing mindfulness, you might take a moment to notice your emotions and the physical sensations in your body. You might take a deep breath and remind yourself to stay calm and focused. This can help you respond in a more constructive and controlled way. Number 4. Develop Healthy Habits have you ever noticed how much harder it is to exercise self-control when you're tired, hungry, or stressed? It's not just your imagination. Your physical and mental health plays a big role in your ability to make good decisions. That's why developing healthy habits is a key component of improving your self-control. When you make healthy choices such as regular exercise, healthy eating, and getting enough sleep, you're not just improving your physical health also boosting your mental and emotional well-being. Exercise, for example, has been shown to reduce stress, improve mood, and increase energy levels. When you feel good physically, you're more likely to feel good mentally, which can make it easier to exercise self-control. Similarly, eating a healthy diet can provide your body with the nutrients it needs to function properly, which can help you feel more alert and focused. 
When you're not constantly battling hunger or food cravings, you are more likely to make rational and thoughtful decisions. Number five, delay gratification. Do you remember the marshmallow test from when you were a kid? It's that classic experiment where researchers would give children a choice between one marshmallow now and two marshmallows when they waited for a few minutes. The idea was to test the children's ability to delay gratification. In other words, to resist the immediate pleasure of eating one marshmallow in order to receive a greater reward later. Believe it or not, the marshmallow test is still relevant today, especially when it comes to building self-control. When you practice delaying gratification, you're essentially training your brain to resist impulsive behavior and focus on long-term goals. This can help you build your self-control muscles and make it easier to resist temptation in the future. Number six, seek support. Let's face it, sometimes exercising self-control can be tough. It's not always easy to resist temptation and make the right choices, especially when you're facing a challenging situation or struggling with a personal issue. That's why seeking support is so important when it comes to developing self-control. Whether you turn to family, friends, or a professional, having a support system can make a huge difference in your ability to exercise self-control. Your support system can provide encouragement, accountability, and motivation, all of which can help you stay on track and make good decisions. For example, if you're trying to quit smoking, having a friend or family member who's also trying to quit can be incredibly helpful. You can support each other, share your struggles and successes, and hold each other accountable. Number seven, learn from your mistake. We've all been there. We make a mistake, feel frustrated and disappointed in ourselves, and wonder how could we have done things differently. But did you know that mistakes can actually be a valuable learning opportunity when it comes to developing self-control? When you make a mistake, take some time to reflect on what went wrong and what you could have done differently. Did you give in to temptation? Did you act impulsively without thinking things through? By understanding the root cause of your mistake, you can develop strategies to avoid making the same mistake in the future. So the next time you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up about it. Instead, take the opportunity to reflect on what went wrong and what you can do differently in the future. It's important to remember that developing self-control is a journey and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. What matters is that we keep working on ourselves and we continue to strive for self-improvement. So, if you're a man looking to develop your self-control, remember that it's never too late to start. What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts with us. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.